Hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome back to Inktober 2016. This is the seventh video in the series. You can check out the playlist on or on either way. It's on my profile. You can check it out there. It's in a playlist. It's all in order, and they're all caught up by force. La 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 la. la. Um, welcome back. This is day 25, and since Halloween is really, really near. Even though we don't really celebrate Halloween because the way we celebrate things around that date is a bit, a bit different. And we put more importance on All Saints and All Souls Day, particularly All Souls Day. So um, Halloween is rather neglected unless you're in school and you have like parties and stuff like that. Or maybe in the office you have like a Halloween party. But other than that, most people don't really prepare for it but just for fun let's do some Halloween themed drawings and I'll be doing that until the end of October so I hope I don't run out of ideas of what to draw so I'm doing a witch which is fairly common I guess um, I just did a really generic witch uh, rather it's because I was testing out this test stretching I was testing out this new pen that I bought and you can see it's a knockoff of Pigma Micron brush pens and it's called Tokyo Fines and I really wanted a sepia colored brush pen or even a fine liner so I picked it up when I was um, in a different area and decided to play around with it. I bought it from Fully Booked. I usually shop in National Bookstore but Fully booked has some pretty cool stuff too, especially if you have some money, because it eats up money so quickly. I hope you guys stick around for day 26 right after this. I'll just be showing the preview of this particular piece and you can see it again at the end after day 28. Welcome back! It's day 26 and again I'm keeping with the Halloween theme and I decided to keep on, at least for this video, to keep on using brush pens because I'm not all that familiar with them. My familiarity just extends to the favorite class of bit artist pens and I use them more as markers for coloring over um, stuff over a pen for lining. So I decided to try out using it for lining but I'm using the Tokyo Finds and the Sakura Micron Pigma brush pens as my lining medium tool something so today i'm drawing a sort of night i've been into nights lately and originally i wanted to do like halloween theme but i ended up doing more of a fantasy costume thing instead and i didn't want to draw his other arm anymore and his, and his other shoulders so i just drew a flag over it a banner you could say since he's a knight he he carried banners around um yeah, that, that's pretty much it. I was a bit lazy doing this actually. I didn't feel like drawing much. My only difficulty with the brush pens is that I don't really have a lot of control with um, the details. The lines usually turn out very thick. So I guess um, on the 28th I might do a brush pen and fine liner mix just so that I could get those details in. 
So we'll stick around again for day 27 and yeah. Hey guys, welcome back. And today's day 27. Yeah, today's day 27. And again with the Halloween thing slash costume, I did a fairy this time. So it's turning out to be a very fantasy themed um, video since or segment, whatever. And hmm. I was partially inspired by Witch, particularly Cornelia particular Hale, uh, even though she wasn't my favorite. Um, I didn't dislike her, but she, Haylin and Wilm were my favorite favorite characters. So um, I just really liked her sense of style, and she was very elegant. And when I thought of fairy, and I wanted to draw a fairy with long hair, I kind of thought of her. Even though the outfit isn't really, um, it, it isn't really her, but just kind of inspired by her. And which was such a big thing for me when I was in grade school, middle school. So, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick fairy thing. Today I'm using the Tokyo Finds um, Sepia Sepia. <sighs> How do you say that? Here, we say Sepia. In other countries, they say Sepia. I'm gonna say Sepia because that's how what, that's what I know, or that's how I know it's pronounced. Either way. And the anatomy is a little bit screwed up. I kind of, yeah, I messed up a little, but I am sort of starting to run, up, run out of steam for Inktober, to be very honest. And I was just kind of tired in general today. My body hurts like hell. Um, I walked around all over Makati, and well, for personal reasons. And my body just hurts. Makati is so big, <laughs> and there aren't any jeeps. Well, there are, but they're very, it's very, the road there is one way, it's like, supposedly it's a bit like New York, and it's a pain in the ass, and I'm not used to that. So my body hurts, and I just wanted to lie down the entire day, but Inktober. <laughs> Even recording, I'm just like, I'm trying to be energetic, but I'm so tired. So yeah, please stick around for day 28. I'm gonna hang on and do my best. Hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Paladin. Ah, oh, again, I did, I did it again. I did this last time. Anyway, hey, welcome to day 28. It's the final segment for this particular video. And you have one more video left until the end of Inktober. And that would just be three segments since, um, well, we don't have enough more we don't have enough days to make it a four segment video but either way we're almost near the end just a few more days and october is gonna end and october is gonna be done i might do a um like a flip through of inktober just to see what i did and maybe if i've improved but yeah i might make that a thing right so today I decided to do a mermaid, um, but merman I guess would be more appropriate. And as I said yesterday, I wanted to mix using the brush pen with a fine liner. And I think it turned out pretty okay. I kind of screwed up on the arm a little bit since I misjudged the pressure that I put on the brush pen. And I tried to fix it up, but eh. Also, I got a little bit lazy, so... Yeah. So I'm using the 1.0 fine liner weight tip of Sakura Mega and Pigment Pen. I'm also usually I'm also using Sakura's brush pen, so yeah. So I'm just adding in some details, making some places more sharper and smoother. My only real 
problem with the brush pen is that it has a tendency to stick to your palm when it's a bit sweaty. So it drags the ink around. So it really, you really have to be careful with it, which I'm not. So that causes me a bit of a pickle, not really. So I hope you guys stick around. Right after the preview for this piece, I'll be showing yet again all four pieces that I did for this particular video. So day 25 was a witch, and I decided to just be chill about it, use the sapia brush pen. Day 26 was a knight, 27 was a fairy, inspired by a witch, Carnelia Hill, and 28 was a merman. So I hope you guys enjoyed, please like and or subscribe, and follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, and DeviantArt, and I'll see you around.